Al Jama leader Hanif Hendrick says there are no merits for a motion of no confidence against the Johannesburg mayor. Action essays motion against Gabelo Guamanda will be heard next week. It comes after a criminal case was opened against the mayor for allegedly running a funeral Ponzi scheme believed to have defrauded some Soweto residents. Guamanda has denied the allegation, saying the business merely failed and was closed. Let's bring in Nobuchem Tembu, Action SA Johannesburg Caucus leader, for a discussion. A very good afternoon to you. Thank you so much for your time, Nobutle. You've tabled a motion saying you don't have confidence in Gabelo Guamanda. Perhaps expand on some of your concerns. A very good afternoon to you, Mpo, and thank you for the invite. In June, we submitted the motion of no confidence and we submitted it to the Speaker's office and only this past Tuesday that it was passed in programming, meaning that next week it will be tabled in council. And if you remember correctly, when we submitted it in June, the executive mayor had residents from Soweto who went to Protea to open a case against him for fraud. And there were other residents who also came to the inner city to open another case about his, um, his company that he was running, promising heaven and earth about some scheme that people must invest and they'll get um, they'll get returns, and that never happened. And when it was investigated, there was feedback that that company was not even registered, but this was in June. Up to date, the reason why we're still pushing this is because the executive mayor is nowhere. He's nowhere to be seen. We've got so many issues in the city of Johannesburg, but every time we reach out to him, we cannot get hold of him. Every time the residents try to reach out to him, they also cannot see him. And what is embarrassing about him again is that when we had the Johannesburg explosion, Premier Panyaza even sidelined him in front of the entire city. And when we asked him, when the residents wanted to know what happened, um, what was his next step, he told everyone that he has no information. He did not even know the victims or the people who got injured during that explosion, which hospitals they were even taken to. So for us as Action SA, it's quite clear that in the city of Johannesburg, we don't have a mayor. We have someone who is a puppet posing as a mayor. So those are just one of the several reasons that we're pushing for this motion of no confidence against him. And so far as the investigation on some of the allegations that you, you've been talking about just now, how much information is out there on how far these cases are? Are police going to take action? Is there some substance there? Look, we all know our justice system that it really takes time and we don't want to interfere with that. Hence, we're leaving the police to deal with that. From, but as a councillor in the city of Johannesburg, we're also using avenues that are available for us to use in terms of when we have an issue with a certain person who's a councillor or who's sitting as an executive. You can file a motion of no confidence or number two, you can refer them to ethics. We followed both of those processes. So we can't wait for the law to run its course and not use the avenues that are there that we can also start that journey with from our side. And how much confidence do you have as you table this motion of no confidence? Are you confident of the numbers and the backing you'll get? We are very confident. Everyone can see that the executive mayor is not a Ethical. He's got this fraud case that is pending against him. He's not even coming back to to be to you know to say something to be accountable to the resident to give them assurance. He's not saying anything. He's just quiet. So we've been lobbying other political parties, and they also agree. They also agree. Some of them do agree that you know what the best thing to do now is to put the resident's priority as the first thing to do and remove him and find someone else who is ethical, someone who can serve with distinction, someone who's got a vision for the city of Johannesburg. We cannot trust the executive mayor now, Gabelo Gamanda, to be capable of handling 80 billion rent while he failed to handle his own issues with his own illegal business that he was running. 
Is this not a matter of innocent until proven guilty? I mean, looking at uh, uh, perhaps your leader, Herman Mashaba's reign as Joburg mayor, he also faced allegations, um, the first brought by the South African National Civic Organization, of being involved in orchestrating land expropriation and invasion across the city, and also accused of, of being a culprit behind the recent spate of xenophobic violence at the time. Look, I hear what you're saying. That's why I'm saying that let the police investigate. But from our side also, if there's accusations like this, if there's a case that is pending against you, and if we've also reached out to you to try to get some assurance, to try to get your side of the story, but you are no show. When we have problems in the city of Johannesburg, whereby services are not being rendered, whereby we've got, prom we've got problems with the Johannesburg explosion as well, many other things but you find the premier acting like the mayor, that is quite clear that this person is not fit for this role. This person is not fit for purpose. Very well. Nobu Tembu Action SA Johannesburg Caucus leader, thank you very much for your time. Let's perhaps leave it there.